okay in this video i will show you that uh, any sensor data which is uh, read by uh, arduino or any esp32 boards or any other microcontroller that can be connected to computer via usb cable and uh, how we can plot this data on computer machines so for doing that <coughs> I'm going to consider on my machine uh, the Python programming language and uh, to program this particular microcontroller I'm choosing ESP32 board with Arduino platform and this ESP32 is connected to our computer system via USB cable. So once we connect this uh, USB32 or Arduino board via this USB cable, this USB port is basically can be treated as serial port and uh, through identifying the serial port id we can uh, use python libraries which will capture the data which is transferred by the microcontroller board and finally the uh, captured data can be plotted at the end of it okay so this is the complete idea of it let me show you the first the arduino sketch okay so uh, this is basically the arduino sketch which i am using here very simple sketch my board is ESP32 so that's why I just uh, you can select this particular board ESP32 Arduino ESP32 dev module okay and uh, also you can select this port I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 and this port is dev TTY USB 0 right so now what basically this sketch does uh, this is a setup for starting the serial port with a baud rate of 115200 and i will explain rest of the parameter of the uh, serial port configuration bit number parity and stop bit i will discuss uh, in connection to the python programming so these are by default in arduino there are some set values we will explore it as well now uh, creating a <coughs> load variable and the name of the variable is phase and then loop is running here what it does phase value 0 and go up to 2 into pi pi means 3.14 and the phase value is objected by 0.1 and then uh, it computes the by the Arduino library it can computes sign values and this particular sign value is being transmitted via serial port by this command serial dot println and basically we know in case of arduino there are two type of uh, commands serial.println and serial.print the difference is that in case of uh, println it terminates uh, the character by backslash r backslash n and in case of only print it terminates the uh, line by backslash r okay so here it terminates by backslash r backslash n so although this is not always to be important to know about if you're using some kind of libraries in python that helps us to find out the data uh, raw data from there itself okay so this is the arduino sketch i'm now going to upload these things and as you can see this is basically compiling and the board is this it is connected to our computer ubuntu machine and uh, let the compilation is done then uploading will start automatically yes uploading is almost done yes this is done now i'm closing this particular window as you can see by, uh, that basically the port name number port id is front slash dev front slash tt usb0 right we will keep in mind and uh, in python programming we will be using this particular port to identify the usb32 so now i'm closing this window and opening this vs code where the python script is written let me explain line by line so as you can see that uh, from the screen now this portion is done so now how to write the python code to capture the data which is transmitting by sp32 board so these are the necessary libraries which are required for this particular experiment first one is basically a serial module i am importing serial class and then time module numpy i am using for uh, basically the data uh, analysis and this is not always required to be here in this particular case uh, we can omit this from here as well now saving it and matplotlib is required to plot in the data okay so what is my port name it was slash dev slash tt usb0 that's why i just created the port name variable now i'm creating the serial object which is basically assigning the port name itself here and once i create this serial object by default it runs the port or open support so that's why i initially close the port okay 
so now because why did i uh, close this particular port because i would like to change the configuration parameter for uat communication what is this baud rate i chose that was 115200 that's why it is set here and uh, port name is basically a port equals to port name already been declared it is uh, it is not required at all but i just gave it now <coughs> data byte it's basically 8 bit long arduino sends in this particular format and parity is no parity and stop bit is one and timeout basically once we read the data uh, from computer python programming it blocks this particular read commands okay so that's why it could be used as a timeout so that after that much of time it come out from this blocking statement and then continue rest of the task again go and read that particular commands okay so this is not at all required always to be uh, let me uh, you can also have this uh, equals to zero for non-blocking state as well right so just uh, right now what you are doing basically opening the port because i want to start the communication now after opening i'm just resetting all the receipt buffer okay or the input buffer whatever garbage values are there remove it clean it and now i'm creating a variable it is a list variable its name is val now this is basically the loop where we are uh, using this uh, central part of the code to capture the data from the serial port within the try block that means if any error occurs so it will be uh, captured and take the necessary action through except blocks right so this is uh, i'm not discussing about try except block here because this is a different topic so this in value i can read uh, how many data are there in the waiting in the buffer input buffer and the data i'm just reading by this command basically read line so read this particular uh, read a complete line and minus one means how many numbers are there read all through it okay and uh, basically it is uh, transmitting as a line backslash or backslash in that's why data and now this data is basically binary format so i'm decoding data by data dot decode and decode is basically a method within a string class and now after decoding this data as a string now i'm taking into float format because i want the numeric values to plot it okay i'm not interested about any character values and also in arduino code we have seen that uh, i'm transmitting the numerical values only okay take care of this once you are using this arduino code so you should not send any kind of character values so that uh, you can't plot it okay although this can be tackled by different technique as well but this is not concern of this video so i'm skipping this part from here so in if uh, during this particular run if it is infinite loop so i can come out from this loop just by pressing ctrl c in my uh, keyboard so it takes a keyboard interrupts and break out of this loop and close this serial port and then plot the data okay so important thing is that what i'm interested in i want to read the data for uh, 500 number of datas and finally plot it right so if there is no exception occurs so what happens that is it prints the value data value and append to this list okay so finally uh, if length of the value that means a list is if it is more than 500 number of samples then break okay so after that close the serial port and then plot this data so that's why i'm using this particular command this is a matplotlib command so related commands you understand so now i'm plotting this value let me run this code first of all let's see what happened okay now i have to reset because i didn't reset the board yet so i'm resetting this particular board and you can see quickly scroll down the values okay so how many number of values 500 number of samples are there that's why it is uh, up to 500 okay so this is a pure sinusoidal waveform who said that sinusoidal waveform already we have seen that usp32 board and what was the code for that just take a look of it just take a look uh, what is this code basically it is a sign function right and this is up to now if we just uh, if we just uh, use uh, different phase angles and calculate the number of sample points so you can plot half cycles you can plot full cycles you can plot multiple cycle as well right so in that way you can uh, read the sensor data and uh, use this command to send the data in the numeric formats and then finally take inside of your python programming on your computers and you can plot for data visualizations